tech rabbit here. We're gonna look into um, the bird. No, not the bird. This is called Chip, and he's going to monitor, do the quality assurance part of this process. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're going to unbox this lens kit. Um, and this lens kit is a bit special because it's for for mobile use. So I'm thinking if I could expand the usage of my mobile phone since it can do 4K video um, with a little bit more options of what type of video I can, or under which circumstances one can take video. So, so um, this has a telephoto lens and then it has a uh, wide angle lens and then it has the macro lens and then it has a fisheye lens. There are other kits out there that have like filters and stuff, but I, I think that I'm going to actually check this one out. So, oh, look at that. It's a case. It wasn't that expensive, so. so anyway, it comes with, this is a very good carry case. That is, that is kind of tough. Yeah, you, you, you make sure that it's tough. Yeah, you think it's good quality? I think it's good quality. Yeah. Chip thinks it's good quality. There we go. Oi! That's, that's a big kit. So, um, so that's what it looks like inside. And it comes with a stand. I'm not really convinced that this will work with my, my large iPhone. And it also it has this I'm a bit skeptical about that. But we shall see. So uh, it fits on there like that. A bit, a bit not so. I'm going to make separate videos about using this because now I'm actually using my mobile phone to monitor the filming. But um, this here is for the telephoto lens if you're going to use it like manually disconnected from the camera. It's got some extra bag here, probably for the, for the stand. And this is the actual unit. That you use to put the lens against the mobile. And, um, this will be interesting. I can just actually quickly show my mobile phone. Well, anyway, I have this set up with with this protective cover on it. So we're going to, have to experiment and um, see if uh, see if it um, will work with this. And it's got kind of a thumb screw to tighten down. So. And then what interests me is that does it have to be up against the lens or can it actually be, um, be a little bit off the lens? Oh, oh look, individual covers, I think, on both sides. Wow. Oh. Busy, aren't you? So, and then, okay, not really sure. Okay, it is a screw fit, so that screws in there. That actually feels quite good quality, like, just does not, you know, not even without testing the lenses. But I mean, to actually go to the extremes of providing double lens covers, that's not actually that bad. So we'll see how it's going to work. As I said, I'll be making some video sections. Use. Now this actually is a telephoto lens. And um, it's even got a glare protection. And this is actually... I'll play with that instead. Look, here. Yeah, I can play with that. Ah, play with that. Ah, whatever. I want to play with 
but probably not good. Anyway, this is the telephoto lens. And again, it has double lens protection. Not sure how one takes this protection off. Oops. Gonna have to read the instructions, but it's actually covered up. No obvious way how that, how that actually works. Oh, it just comes off. Pretty impressed, actually. I would think this would be some kind of a plastic pile of crap, you know, but this is actually aluminium. All right, then don't do that. Sorry, sorry, Chip. Oh, I mean, I know you just want to check the quality. But in this case, I got a bit worried. So, it's going to be pretty heavy on the mobile. But the, and I don't know if this. We will test how this clip will. I have to take that protection. And then we'll see. No, don't, don't eat my stuff. No, don't. No, no. Yeah, he likes eating my glass holders. With an adjusting there. Yes, quite interesting. So, I mean, of course, the proof is in the pudding, which means that it does it actually work on the camera. And then, um, how good is the picture quality when it goes through a lens like that? And how how can I position it on the on the mobile in a reasonable way? So anyway, so um, next we'll follow up with, uh, of, you know, make some videos and then we'll put them in and then I will be doing summarizing. Yeah, what do you think, Chip? Good enough quality? Yeah, you good bird, you, you good bird. Yeah, you good bird. Yeah. You haven't made any noises. You haven't been singing. You've been very quiet. Okay, but anyway, back to business. Yep, so I will... Um, not sure if I can use the stand, but um, I have another stand. But um, yeah, so to testing. Oh, wide angle lens. And all these tests are done with. Um, I had to take my um, protective cover off because the lens wasn't uh, close enough to uh, the camera. centimeter or something. So I think that it's going to be actually tricky to uh, get the lighting to work for this. Although it's a pretty good lens. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd test the fisheye view lens in this filming corner and um, this is just using the cell phone, as it is. So let's um, see what it looks like when we have the fish eyelids. So anyway, this is approximately the <laughs> same scene with the fish eye on the lens. So you can see it can actually cover a much larger, larger area. So, let's see if we can zoom into the, um, into the flowers next to the um, sundial. Okay, that zoomed into the flowers, and um, I have it on a tripod because it's really quite impossible to... Ah, that's the wind. The wind disturbs the tripod. It's, uh, 
really needs to be on a stable base to be able to use the uh, use the telephoto lens. This is the wide lens from approximately the same view. Of course, you get a little bit um, also better coverage, but um, and then you don't get the fish eye view effect. It takes in a less of an area. Yeah, no, I do. Summarize it. Um, it is quite a nice package, and um, I actually, if one keeps the stand separate, then um, it actually goes to uh, the box will close much easier. And also, the stand actually has leg extensions you can pull out, so this has actually turned out to be um, more stable than I originally thought. Um, usefulness of the lenses. Um, I think the fisheye wasn't that great. Um, the wide angle is okay. Um, micro lens is actually quite nice also. And the uh, tele object is um, usable, but it's actually it's it is quite heavy. Uh, it's actually, I mean, I can understand what they uh, what they were trying to do when they designed this. I mean, it's obviously they had designed it to be used in as many um, smartphones as possible with lenses for the camera in very different places and different sizes. So, uh, with my specific um, iPhone, it was it wasn't always easy to get it um, um, centered in the best possible way. And then I still think that there was like when it's trying to hold it against the lens and I was getting um getting some kind of light um coming in from the side anyway. So it wasn't complete ah. But I mean we can't really blame the manufacturer for that. I mean they they have no control over all the variants of smartphones there are. Um, I think the overall build quality is good, so I don't think there's any problem with that. Um, I suppose your mileage will vary depending on what you do, but I think that I'll probably... I think I'll find the macro lens and the wide, wide angle lens useful. I never really got a very good, um, like you saw in the video, I never really got a good picture of the um, with the um, fish eye lens yep and uh, as I said the tele objective is very heavy so it, it, it need, you know. ah it's a it's a bit questionable if it can be held in really stable with this um, and you need to have a um, you need to have it on some kind of a stand to keep it um, keep it stable while you're actually zoomed into some. And it's a it's for a fixed length, of course. Um, you 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 can like adjust the focusing of it a bit, but it's it's like uh, 20 meters of, of distance. It's like fixed, pretty much fixed to a certain. They don't actually tell you for what distance it's designed, but uh, I would say around 20. 20 meter or something like that. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to work on practicing putting this, putting the lenses on, and uh, investigate um, more thoroughly if I can get it. Um, uh, th but this is I, I won't video it or anything. This is just related to my my specific phone and the usage of the this adapter or clip with those. I, I might even actually. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure out some. I would like it to be easier to, um, for my specific um, phone, to actually put the um, the lens in the correct place. 
so I've been thinking of options to um, possibly build, uh, build my own adapter or something. Anyway, uh, I mean it's not expensive, so. A little bit of mixed feelings here or there. But I think I'm going to incorporate it into my tool set of equipment. I mean, and then see how I can okay. use it. So, anyway, I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. I don't know if my tests were the best. So um, I think that if I would spend more time, and will spend more time practicing using this, then I think I might actually be able to get a little bit better quality out of, uh, out of the lenses. Anyway, yeah, oh, back to this. Uh, merch is available. If you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, the link is in the description. And all the contributions will go to developing the channel and buying more stuff and testing it, making videos. and. Uh, Ah, I'll see you in the next one.